Okay, uh, welcome back. In this next video, I'm going to show you how to do cold brew coffee. Thank you to my wonderful, my wonderful friend Moira. Thank you, Moira. I now know how to have coffee anytime, whether I have electricity, whether I have a heat source, whether I have uh, uh, want hot coffee, cold coffee. I can have it anytime and if I happen to want to make coffee flavored ice cream I have a concentrated coffee syrup that I could use and it makes amazing ice cream if you add it to vanilla base uh, ice cream mix anyway in a glass jar not plastic you don't want to do anything in plastic please in a glass jar you put half a cup of coffee grounds any kind of grounds that you use will work and two cups of water. Um, you can double this. You can use a larger jar and put a full cup of ground and uh, four cups of water. Um, you could reuse these grounds too. I find that they work good for a second batch. Uh, in the jar you mix, like I said, half a cup of grounds and two cups of water. Um, preferably filtered water. You don't want that chlorine sitting and uh, funking up the flavor of your your coffee. Let it sit for 12 hours at least, preferably 24, to get a really good rich coffee flavor. It's not going to be anything like the hot brew because it won't have that bitter aftertaste that you get from the hot brew. Um, the day that you are wanting to use it, you can take another uh, glass jar. Um, I use canning jars and I just place a paper filter inside, screw the top on, open it up with my fingers and makes a nice little filter and a great way to use up those coffee filters that you're not using now. You're going to pour, it's not ready so I won't actually do it, but you're going to pour it in and as it filters the fluids into the bottom, your grounds are going to stay on the top. You could then dump those into another batch of water to make a whole other um, batch. Two parts, um, I'm sorry, one part coffee syrup to three to four parts water or milk, really pretty much anything you want to put it into. You could use hot water. Um, if you want to do hot water but you don't have the electricity, you don't want to use electricity if you're solar or if you are wood burning and you really don't want to heat up the house or waste propane, you could stick a glass jar like a pickle jar, uh, fill it halfway with water, you could put a couple of them out there and then stick it in the sunniest part um, on your porch, outside. Heck, you can even put it on your car as long as you don't forget and um, back up your vehicle and lose your jar. Uh, put it on your the hood of your car and you get extremely hot water um, in no time at all. And then you could use that to brew, um, to have hot coffee if you're wanting hot coffee. Uh, you could mix anything in it for a sweetener or creamer if you prefer cream. And it's uh, super easy, super efficient. You know, you don't even need electricity. Who to thunk it? Um, and let's all send a big thanks out to Moira Randall. Thank you, Moira.